Hey guys, Bandles here. Before we get started on this tutorial, make sure you go subscribe to the Disciple YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to join the notification squad. Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Virtual Riot and today I'm going to show you really quickly how to make a kick in the snare yourself. Sweet. So for this we will be using Sonic Academy's Kick 2. I mean there's other ways to make a kick drum. You can use, let's say, Massive Serum for the fundamental, for the low end, and then just add samples for the click at the top. But this plugin kind of does it all for you in one nice little program. And you can even make snare drums with it. So um, just really quickly, here are some examples of r some recent kicks and snares I made with this. Uh, where'd they go? Kick two, kicks number four. or snares could sound like this. Even most of the kicks and snares in my sample pack are uh, I've made with kick two. So the default sound just sounds like this. So one of the most important parts here for me is to look at other people's kicks and um, to see where the sub goes, how quick it is, how long and what frequency range it passes. So most dubstep kicks don't really have a note. You know how like big room kick drums just go uh, and then there's like a fundamental, like a sub bass almost. So dubstep kicks just go mm. straight down. Um, probably pass like the 100 hertz a lot and then at 50, 40 hertz you have already have like your sub going on. So you don't want that to be too strong. So we're just gonna adjust this curve. This fine tuning can take a while, but you basically want this downwards movement and you don't want it to be too long. So I'm just gonna use the amp curve to make this as loud as possible all the way through. You can even, you can see the waveform here. So just compare that to the waveform of a dubstep kick if you want to, that's, that's a really good thing to do here to uh, get as close as possible actually. Um, turn this all down. So now that's really short. And play with this a little bit. That's a little too low, so it's, now, it's, now it's lacking the, the thumb that hits your chest, kind of. That'd be too high. So it's somewhere around here. Maybe make a little exponential curve. Oh yeah, playing with this will like change your initial transient, but you can later on decide if your transient is gonna be from, from this sine wave or from something else. Let's go with this for now. So what we can do over here, and I really love this about this plugin, is you can select your own folders to be used as a resource folders for the clicks. So there are some factory clicks with some effects in there and some other stuff as well. Um, but they're not that useful. So what I did is I have my user folder here. And for example, I have um, all the kick drums of a really old pack by BHK. It's just called um, Premium Drums. All the kick drums sound rather weak by themselves, especially from today's perspective. So they just all sound like, what is it? Bass drums. Not really a lot of impact, but all this top end that's going on there is actually sounding really natural and I like it. So that's a good layer. So just going through this here, will give me all the kick drums of the pack. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut off the beginning of the sample. So I'm only left with the ending, with that, with that bit of noise I'm getting there. Then I'll go through until I find one that I like. Maybe that one. Pitch it up a little bit so it's a little shorter. And then you've got a low pass or high pass control right here, which is sick. So you can either cut off the top or the bottom end. Since we got our sub right here, we only need something like this. So now we have a little bit of rattle on there. Uh, next up, I wanna find a cool transient that we can use actually. So for the second noise, we're just gonna do the exact same thing. I'll go in here and I'll look through my drums folders and let's have a look at this. What do we have in here? Oh, so, uh, kick drums I got from Splice. So why not? I'm gonna look in there. So for that one, the amp modulation curve is just gonna be a tiny little, even shorter, just like the first little cycle. There we go. So now, oh, that's a good one. Just use that transient. 
So now adjust the volume levels, that's always a bit of a... But I kind of like that. Playing with the pitch is also fun. Immediately changes the flavor. Oh yeah, maybe make this noise even higher so it goes faster, so it sounds tighter. Um, I want to go back to this curve here. I need to go a little lower. There we go. So the key here is the fine tuning of the low curve of the curve of your sub and finding some really cool samples to add as uh, your layers and your rattle to make it sound a little bit more natural. And then my favorite thing about this plugin is once you like your kick drum, just hit render down here and then you can just drag this out into your project and you've got your kick. Or even onto your desktop and you immediately have a file and you can start making your own sample pack, basically. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something, and until next time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell them, yeah. Guys, uh, when you finish the, uh, the photo shoot, uh, just make sure you remember to tell them to like and subscribe to, subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel, yeah?